Unite Trade Union, the Labour Party's biggest donor, is facing a devastating £70 million loss over an enormous miscalculation about a hotel and conference centre built in Birmingham. The UK's second largest trade union spent nearly £100 million on the project, but the Labour Party back had been dealt a huge blow after two independent valuations have put its worth at below £30 million, HuffPost UK has reported. Unite General Secretary Sharon Graham, who took over from Len McCluskey in August, had ordered a QC-led inquiry into the project, but last week, she is understood to have told a video call with Unite officials that an initial valuation of the hotel and conference center had only come in at £27 million. A second valuation was ordered, but only nudged the venue's value up slightly to £29 million. A Unite Insiders told HuffPost UK those on the call were left shocked by the figures. The hotel project was built under the orders of previous Unite General Secretary Mr McCluskey. He had described it as a sensible investment of members' money, resulting in a world-class facility that will return an income for our union for generations to come. But a Unite source told the news website, Sharon Graham feels like she has been handed an unholy mess and now she needs to find out where the £70 million shortfall has gone. She is a new broom who owes nothing to the old regime. In a statement, Ms Graham insisted an audit of the hotel and conference center had given the accounts a clean bill of health. But she said, a recent expert valuation has now estimated its value as being considerably lower than the costs incurred in developing the site. This represents a potentially significant loss to Unite and has to be investigated. An independent inquiry, led by a QC, will review the costs incurred and address the question of how and why this difference has arisen. The Unite General Secretary added, These questions need to be answered in a timely fashion and in order to ensure transparency the outcome of the inquiry will be made public. I will also be doing everything possible to recover all monies due back to the Union. This inquiry is of course important but it will not detract from our absolute focus on the jobs, pay and conditions of our members. Last week, Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer was dealt a blow after threats from Unite to further cut funding to the political party. Ms Graham had warned the remaining financial support for the political party is now under review. She added that Labour's alleged mistreatment of our members will not be accepted. The Unite General Secretary warned in a tweet posted last Wednesday evening, let me be very clear, the remaining financial support of Labour Party is now under review. Your behaviour and mistreatment of our members will not be accepted. It's time to act like Labour, be the party for workers. The comments from Ms Graham came as she appeared at an online rally in support of refuse collection drivers employed by Coventry Council. The binmen have been on strike since the 31st of January in a dispute over pay. In response to the warning from Ms Graham, a Labour spokesperson said, these sort of threats won't work in Keir Starmer's Labour Party. We would have hoped that Unite would have got the message that the Labour Party is under new management.